mtukatifu we tunakuabudu miungu mingine ni kazi tu ya wanadamu we ni wewe mkuu zaidi wewe bwana usiyefananishwa usiyelinganishwa ni wewe bwana tunaungana na maelfu ya malaika wanaokuabudu kila wakati bwana wanaosujudu mbele zako wanainamisha bwana nyuso zao mbele zako wanavua tachi zao bwana mbele zako wakikusifu wanavua tachi zao bwana sema wastahili ni wewe unayestahili mamlaka unayestahili sifa nasi bwana tunasema ni wewe unayestahili sifa ni wewe bwana tunaungana na maserafi tunaungana na makeru Tukilinu wa jina lako Unastahili Ni wewe wa kuina miwa Katika taifa letu mwana
Yes, you are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, Father. There is no one like you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Like you, Lord, no one like 
In the book of Psalms, chapter 100 and verse 4, Mandiku inasema, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. sana. And that is what we are doing today. Are you ready? Are you ready to pray the Lord? Kama uko tayari weka shango na vigelegele kwa Yesu. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Unaeza weka shango kuliko hapo. My coffee kwa yes. Woo! I have just have one like dog or Hey! Turn it. You know what? You know what? Yes! You know what? Yes, you know, yes, you Cause I did not like 
Kushoto kulia Jina la Yesu libume Kushoto kulia Jina la Yesu libume Atwende chuturudi chini Jina la Yesu libume Atwende chuturudi chini Jina la Yesu libume Jina la Yesu libume
We just need a word this afternoon. We just need a word today. And we will be healed. Send a word. Somebody pray. Somebody tell the Lord, send a word. And now we'll be healed. Somebody tell the Lord, send a word. And I'll be healed. Send a word. And my marriage shall be healed. Send my word, your word. And bones will be healed. Send your word. And sicknesses will be destroyed. Send a word. And demonic seeds and bondages shall be broken. Lord, send your word. 
Send your words of the Lord, send your word for me. Ask the Holy Spirit, send your word that is relevant with my situation. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to us, Lord. Speak to us, Lord. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. salvation. It is your word that you sent to us. Wakati tulikuwa tumepotea kwa giza, kwa uovu, kwa unajisi, kwa ukahaba, kwa madawa. Your word came forth. It translated us from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. May the same power of your word work in this altar today. As we sit down, we sit expectantly, O oh God, descending from you, to hear from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody declare a believing amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go. Chini. Pia ni sejia kwa likaliye kalibu na wewe. Padwa kusoto. Padwa kulia muambie. Happy to see you today. I'm glad to be your neighbor today. Muulize hiyo wiki mekuwaje. Corona free nation. Hallelujah. Dango sasa nineza kuona sura. Unajua kuna kati zamani kuona na mtu nashanga. Paka nabia mke wangu Na kuna mtu siku wana kanisani yale Anabia likuwa Kube ni mask Ambeva paka ya hapa Sasa uji watu Is it this a beautiful nation And corona shall never come again In Jesus name Hallelujah We give thanks to God this morning For giving us the opportunity Kuwa katika ibada na katika nyuba ya mwana Pia na washukuru Ote abao meweza kufika kwenye ibada I need to know It is not sometimes easy to come to church kama kuna jambo moja shetani huzuilia ni watu wasije kanisani wakae nyumbani wasikize ripoti za shetani awapitie ushuhuda na waonyeshe kwamba vile ile hali wanapitia haiwezi kubadilika lakini ukweli ni kwamba Mungu huachilia neno lake kwa wakati wake ili liweze kuleta mabadiliko kwenye maisha yetu haleluya ni kwa bila hali yote unaweza kuwa unapitia haijalishi Vile inaweza onekana ni ngumu na ni nzito All you need my brother my sister is a word In season Somebody say a word in season A word in That is all you need There are times I've been so discouraged You know what you want to hear kakwamba Pastors are quick in their raw moments Their down moments and all that Na unajua sa ukiwa pastor utenda kuwabia nani ni kuja ni kuambia wewe na mshirika ni kuambia ni mie ndai kwa tige shoka dhuda sasa utasema wewe wewe utarudi jana utarudi nyuma jana <laughs> bwana yesu asiwe so even when i've been in those down moments i look at my life wakati huo nasikia sauti nyingi zinakuongelesha but every time i go back to the word of god just a few time, moments with the word of god and a word was like pop up neno itakuwa ni kama unalisoma Dinainuka juu ya maneno mengine yote And that one statement Ah, inakurudisha why May you receive a word this morning Unajua bina sema He sent a sermon The Bible does not say He sent a sermon He sent a what? A word Hallelujah Na miyo bina gundia komba kila moja wetu Licha ya ide sermon Itahubidi hapa the next 30-40 minutes Licha yo mabomegi taongea utoke hapa na neno ambalo utatembea nalo ambalo utakimbia nalo ukiangalia kwenye old testament eh, most of the time wakati watu wagetuma na malaika na mtumishi wa Mungu maybe a prophet bibi nasema and by the word of the lord the man of god went by the word of the lord he decreed and by the word of the lord it was fulfilled bwana yesu asifiwe nikwambia ile unaweza kuwa katika hali ambayo maybe umekuja asubuhi ya leo Ato mekuja kanisandi, so too have hearted the heavy 
Kitu niende lakini Amegina hata unasikiza hata ndio maana unasikiza ukiwa nyumbani ulichochwa na kanisa ulienda kufanyika mambo the god is college let me tell you a word is coming forth for you in jesus name na utarudi kanisani bila kukibishwa na mtu yeyote in jesus name haleluya the topic of my message today or the text that i would want us to share today ningetaka kushare neno ambalo liko katika kitabu cha hosea 10 na mstari wa 12 Now the title of my message is what time is it? Somebody ask your neighbor what time is it? Ni saa ngapi by the way? Kuligana masaa ya Kenya East African time it is 12. Hapo hii saa yetu inatembea vizuri otherwise mnaweza jikuta hapa saa kumi kama imelala hapa pale. Ni saa sita na ni saa sita na kangapi? 13. Uh, ah saa sita na kulika na, na chronometer. Ni saa sita na dakika 13. Lakini ndaligana na mahali tuko sisi tuko Kenya. Kuligana na vipimo vya kitaifa zinaitwa GMT. Tuko minus minus 03 ama ni plus 03 plus 3 GMT sasa ukiwa hata wale wanasikiza kutoka California kutoka Mumbai kutoka wapi China kutoka Australia wengine wako Qatar na Saudi Arabia wanaisa siwe wengine wananisikiza saa hii ni saa ni saa 12 ya kesho na wengine ni saa sita ya jana haleluya the time i'm asking It's not the time about uh, the chronometer time. I'm asking about the time because understanding the time, time is one parameter. Ukitaka kutimiza destiny yako, you must be careful of time. Destiny cannot be fulfilled without the element of time. The usage and the passage of time in your life. Inaweza tumika ku a uh, kuzuilia kufika kwenye hati mafurani na kutimiza mambo fulani ama inaweza kukuzuilia kutimiza mambo fulani kwanza tusome that text so that we can be able to build up uh, Hosea chapter 10 verse 12 wale ambao tuko kwa social media tutowekewa hapo kwa screen zetu inasema so for your self righteousness tusome kwa pamoja wale ambao tuko hapa Uh, tusome kwa pamoja so for your self righteousness reap the fruits of unfailing love and break up your proud ground for it is what time to seek the lord until he comes and showers righteousness on you trudia tena hosea 10 verse 12 so for your self righteousness reap the fruit of unfailing love and break up your unproud ground for it is time to seek the lord until he comes and showers righteousness on us hosea anaongea kuhusu time anawaambia what time it is in israel na napogea kuhusu time ama muda ama masaa ni masaa gani anaongea kuhusu a season anaogea kuhusu the activities that should be carried on at this particular moment in time anapoogea kuhusu what time it is anawaambia this is the time to keep aside many other businesses and concentrate in the business of prowling you are and uh, 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 tilling out your proud ground and sowing and seeking god nikuwa na nikisoma kitabu kimoja nikasoma quote inasema kwamba winners or those people we call great men they don't do anything that is different the only thing they do is that they do things differently 
great men and mighty men watu ambao tunafanya sema kwamba wame break through katika maisha sometimes they don't do anything different it is only that they do that thing differently huwa nasema nikiongea kuhusu masani ya kwamba kila mmoja wetu from whichever nation kuna masaa kunakuwa na uh, short nights and long days another season long days and uh, short nights lakini hapa Afrika mashariki sana sana ama bara la Afrika mali sisi tuko at zero degrees ya equator we don't experience that so we have almost balanced 12 hours 12 hours lakini katika kona zote za dunia every one of us has 24 hours what matters ni kwamba vile wewe utakavyofanya na masaa yako 24 na mwingine atakavyofanya na masaa yake 24 that may make all the difference na tukiangalia katika skip ya siku ya leo tutaona what what not, ought not to be done at a particular time and what needs to be done at a particular time one of ishakali in the book of uh, we can need that one also so that we get uh, first chronicles chapter 12 and verse 32 first chronicles 12 verse 32 Tandika pia unaenda pale haraka good always to read the scripture it speaks to you in a mighty way Tusome kwa pamoja kama umefika pale first chronicles 12:32 na kama social media tumewekewa I uh, hope tumewekewa inasema hivi Men of who men of Ishakal who understood the times and knew what Israel should do 200 chiefs with all their relatives under their command what happened in their lives they understood the times and knew what israel should do kile kilifanya wana wa ishaka wao watu wakitofauti ni kwamba walielewa majira they were able to answer My prayer is that at the end of this sermon today or before kuna ufunuo kuna illumination itaingia kwenye moyo wako na kuna understanding utaipata ya mambo ambayo umekuwa ukiyafanya at the wrong time you may be doing even the right thing but in the wrong season or doing something in the right season but you are doing the wrong thing kile kilifanya kabila la Ishakali likuwa standing out katika familia zingine they understood the time and two they knew what Israel ought to do nikwambia kuna kitu kibaya kama kukosa kujua nyakati na majira and subsequently what i need to do wakati kama huu bwana asifiwe in the natural world kama sai jana usiku kuanzia this week kumeanza kuwa na mabadiliko ya anga kumeanza kunyesha nyesha hapa na pale kumetanguliwa na joto kali sana hiyo joto na jua kali lilikuwa anajua kwa but this particular season ni time nafaa kupanda yule mkulima asipopanda kwa wakati unaofaa kuna mambo mengi sana yatatendeka utakuta kwamba kwa naona kule kwetu mashambani ukiacherewa kulima in time iwe kwa wakati mvua imenyesha leo imevenyesha one week ndio unapambana na hizo spaces zitabaki hapa katikati atikuweka tiga kwa, 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 kwa shamba inalimalima kuna nyesha inakoma inatokea tena kesho inarudi ama pema kidogo kabla kuja nyesha inalimalima kuna nyesha mkianzana na kuwekwe kutoka hapo chazi zako za kutovuna ziko 70% ya kutovuna lakini yeyote ambaye ni mkulima aliye na hekima anaanza kulima mapema anajitayarisha anaweka begu chini kukiwa bado kumekauka anagojea mvua so mvua ataikinyesha ikinyesha kuna wakati mwingine mvua inaanza kwa saa 3 usiku paka kesho saa 11 ah hata anaweza kusaa 9 usiku shukuru Mungu anamwambia Mungu nakushukuru kwa hiyo mvua 
lakini yule ambaye hajatayarisha shamba lake wewe unasema jingine kwa uragaji alafu unaamka asubuhi haikomi kunyesha paka saa ine inanyesha unaacha hiyo mambo ile inanyeshanga paka mnaamka asubuhi tukono na kishagi mnaakisha moto kubwa hivi kila mmoja ako hapo mwenye haja riba anakuwa na stress mwenye amepada ah anasema leke kule wacha kunyeshe i pray that that will be your song in the name of jesus what is time what is the definition of the time one time is a measurable period during which an action a process or a condition exists or continues time is a measurable period during which an action or a process or a condition exists the key word here is a measurable period definition definition number moja hiyo ni webster dictionary mwingine anasema time is the continued sequence of existence and events that occur in apparently irreversible successions time is the continued sequence of existence of events that occur in an apparently irreversible succession maybe from the past through the present or to the future and every one of us is living with the as long as you are living in a season of your time peer time definition again is an opportune or suitable moment an opportune or a suitable moment kuna jia mbili ama two descriptions of time moja ndio nimeongea kuhusu inao tunao hesabu masaa kwa tunaita the chronos in greek which is means like it's in the kama jina la kizungu chronological ah uh, it refers to measured ticking quantitative time it is measurable dio sasa zinatekezo huwa ina tick ama kama digital ina tick it is measurable it is ticking it is quantitative it is also uh is the chronos is the forward propelling time that we measure with the clocks or watches and by the evolutionary phases of the moon but time does not end there kiangalia kunapo hesabu siku za mwezi actually calendar yenyewe tunatumia ni moon calendar uh the jews uh at our islamu they use that moon calendar and the jews they use that calendar na hata bibi nasema the moon marks of a season we not go to that scripture but it's there now we go to another definition of time which is kairos kairos is a time when a cond conditions are right for the accomplishment of a crucial action kairos is a time when conditions are right for the accomplishment of crucial action na hapo ndipo wana wa ishaka walikuwa na uwezo wa kuunganisha a chronos time wanajua this is a chronos time this is march 2022 26th day anasema kwamba on this 26th day ama wiki hii in the calendar of the spirit katika ulimwengu wa roho kuna kitu Mungu anataka kufanya katika msimu huu and they would swing into action kairos moment it is addressing the activity that should be undertaken at a certain time at a certain season within the conducive environment and situations of the time ndikwambia katika saa ulimwengu wa kiroho sisi about tumiokoka kama kuna kitu kidaku benefit katika maisha yako ni kujua kutembea na timing ya Mungu kutembea na masaa na pia kutembea na masaa ya mbinguni bwana Yesu asifiwe now ningetaka tuende katika kujibu maswali kadhaa ambayo 
yatatusaidia kuweze kuelewa now what time is it that is the title of my message in media tena my title is what is the time na kitu hiyo tuweze kuelewa hiyo tutaanza from the negative side na nitajiuliza hivi ama tutajiuliza hivi what is the time not for time about kuna hiyo saa hizi what should i not do in this time kwanza tuachane na kile inafaa kufanya ni kitu gani sifai kufanya katika wakati kama huu mwaka kama huu ambao in our context like Kenyans we are headed for general elections in a moment and a season like this ambapo tunaona crisis all over the world wars and rumors of war na ukiangalia kwenye biblia mabes catology ata kitabu cha madhayo ni mambo ambayo yanatandika saa hii yeye Yesu aliongea kwa mdomo wake akasema kutakuwa na vita ukiangalia sasa vile kumeza kuwa na alignment ya mataifa wengine wana support ukraine wengine wanaanza ku support to shed, tell you what time we are in wakati ndo tembea tembea hapa unakuta mtoto ametupa na pale jia kwenda dump site mtoto anaonekana hata ni wa kijana ametupa hapo ameadiwa na hapo na umbo unakuta watu wana kishangaa ni mtoto aliavya mimba and it is like something normal it should tell us the time that we are in it is the times zile Yesu alisema za siku za mwisho ambapo kutakuwa na uovu mwingi but now what should we not do mtumishi wa bwana hosea anasema kwa watu wao anawaambia this is the time to seek god na asemi tu to seek god ya kawaida anasema we seek god until he is found nikumalisha kuna kati kwa watu tunatafuta mungu kimzaa mzaha na mchezo mchezo hivi mungu kuja mungu tembea haleluya Noba kama umeelekea ile ana mikono hivi kwa kiti sitting room haleluya praise jesus alafu bado una una flip channels 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 unakuta kihejo dia kwa nini kwanza unasimama hapo mahobi nasimama kwanza unacheka unacheka unaenda hiyo nyingine unakuta movie ya Nigeria ogao chineke hiyo inakosika hapo masaa mawili na bado kosi katika nini maombi hiyo ni mchezo uko nayo it is time to seek god until he is found hivyo ndio officer alikuwa anaambia wana wa israeli hii usi wakati wa kufanya mambo mengine weka kado mambo mengine it is time to seek god until he is found wakati mtumishi wa bwana anapotumana neno hili ama mungu ametumana kupitia kwa mnabii wake anamaanisha nini anamaanisha kuna watu ambao wanafanya mambo yasiyofaa kwa wakati ambao Mungu amepatia na mzuri wangefanya mambo mengine one thing that you should not do is to sleep and to slumber tuone kwenye kitabu cha Matthew 26 and verse 40 Matthew 26 and verse 40 Matthew 26 and verse 40 bila sema hii wakati Yesu ako kule kwenye eh, eh, aksiku masaa chache kabla haja kuja kuibebwa na uh, the betrayer Judas and the Roman soldiers he returned to his disciples and found them doing what sleeping could you not men could you men not keep watch with me for one hour he asked peter Leo tumesoma tu mara moja lakini alirudi mara tatu. Akarudi mara ya kwanza wamelala. Akarudi mara ya pili wamelala. Aliporudi mara ya tatu. Mathi 26 verse 40 kuendelea pale chini. Akawaambia sasa hata wakati umefika. There is no need to pray. Nikwambie there is a time and a season God will give you a space to pray. Kuna wakati usipoomba in time. Maombi yako yatakuwa yamechelewa. Na audio maombi apostle huwa anaambia na kuja kuhusu fire brigade prayers. Tunaweza kuwatch kwa YouTube ama Facebook. Fire brigade prayers. Wakati ambapo unagojea mambo yameenda vibaya. Wakati mambo yame, umesukumwa. 
Ndio unapiga simu kwa kila mtu. Woi mu nipeleke mbele ya mwana. Woi ya pasta. Ukiona unishiki unaniandikia WhatsApp ya page mbili ama SMS mpaka najikata mara mbili. Nakuta imekuja moja ingine haijafika baada ya 20 minutes ingine inaingia. Nasoma karibu nitengeneze kitabu hapo. Hiyo ni mobi imechelewa. Abia mwenzako usiombe mobi ya kuchelewa. Bibi nasema let them that fear God seek God when he can be found. And when the, the mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. Wapendo kuna mobi ya kuomba before August. Hatutaki kuwajia wakati kabla uchaguzi ama wakati uchaguzi ama baada uchaguzi kuwaze kutokia moto na vita na kuilukia na kabila moja na ligine. We have time brethren to pay. It is time to do what? To pray. It is time to seek God until we find him. The Bible says, Mungu wa mefanya mabuhaya metu. Possession mahali ya metuweka katika maenio tofauti. So that we may seek him and that we may find him though he is not far away from each one of us. Hakuna mtu wabaya kubali sana na mungu if you take your time seriously. It is no time to sleep. Kuna wakati ulikuwa wakulana lakini sahizi wapendwa. It is time to seek God. So one thing you should not do in this season is to sleep. Hallelujah. Na ikubio katika mahu kuna yo temptation. Ya kusikia utaki kuomka kuomba. Hali ni mbaya, mambo ya nasema, hali zina kuambia. Zina doto mini metumua na watu wa mekiniambia vile doto wa meona. They are not good dreams at all. Lata hapa kalisani, many many people have sent me dreams. Vile waliona. Vile waliona hapa ndadora. Vile waliona Nairobi. Vile walivyo onyesho wa taifa letu likiwa. Watoto wakiri ya helplessi, hata wana wazazi. And we should look at the state in uh, Ukraine. Wangalie, inchi ya bao ni developed. Watu wakika kwa mahadaki chini ya kwa rail station zira za chini kwa chini. Na bomb shelters, hakuna chakula. Na kule nyuba alitoka ikona kila kitu wakona mafriji, wakona mashamba, wakona technology, wakona pesa kwa account. Na ziwezi kwa saidia. Brethren, it is time to do what? To seek God. Wanaisa suiwe. Na kubuka wakati kulikuwa na jeno, kulikuwa na vita wakati wa 2017, was it 17? 20 or 7. Ulikuwa napigia mtu wenu, ukisikia mteja wanabali, uliopiga hapatikali kwa sasa, unashikuwa na stress. Manu nasikia wako hapa nilomi kadeo nikuwa mashabani. Unapigia watu wabawa wako, mwaja alipiga simba kasimba, woi ni mwaka, mea kwa neiba, wako kwa neiba. Unachai sikia mchogea na mtu na simu Havu wakaza kuhibia Bada hata ajazima simu Amekibia, akipiga nduru Alafu simu badai kakua mteja We Sasa unaza kujua huyo ni kifu Huyo sasa ni maiti Kukitokia issues Hata kuna tokia kazi sapa kidogo tu Unaza kutafutu watu enu wako wapi Let me tell you it is such a bad thing Ukute kwa batakuna, watu walikuwa wanalara nja, wakikuwa na pesa kwa mfuko. Maana hakuna supply ya vitu, maduke watu ya mefungwa, hakuna mtu waduka mefungua, ukijaribu kufungua itavunjwa, ibuwe kila kitu, soo unakana vitu zako hapo zinaoza, watu kuleje wanakufa. Manaisa siwe, we should understand the times we are in. Juzi ni miwana kwa runinga atikuwa mba, maziwa imekosa, paka sayi na kosti pesa ngapi, Ama muli wachana na maziwa Muli sama ikae tukunye chaya rangi Just the other day maziwa ikawa na cost for the something Now equals 68 What is that telling you? There is something that is slowly unfolding We are headed somewhere Sasa imagine kutokia crisis Watch out at your maziwa Maziwa tatunweza kabila Tunweza kunye chaya rangi hapo Lakini kuna vitu zile besi kuwezi kabila. It's time not to sleep. It is time to seek God. With zeal, with devotion. Ili komba tusifike katika hii kile hile eneo. Ama katika hile hali. Ukiona mtubishi wabana Jeremaya. Akiambia wano mama. Akisema watu wapi wanaujua kulia. Waomboleze. Tuliria taifaletu. 
kwa maana kifo kimeingilia kwa dirisha ukisikia Isaya akiwakemea wamama wa, wa, wa zembe katika Israeli akiwakemea mkeni mpige mifua vyenu mumlilie Mungu it is time to do what to seek God something else you need not to do at such a time as this in the book of Haggai chapter 1 it was 4 Mungu aliuliza wana wa Israeli swali na hii tumetumia sana wakati wa kulai watu wa support kazi ya Mungu kulai watu wasimamie a uh, a uh, uh, kubali kusimama na, na 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 majukumu yao kanisani na kwa mwili wa Kristo Mungu akaruhusa is it time tusome kwa pamoja Haggai 1:4 Tuko pale Haggai chapter 1 verse 4 is it time for you yourself to be living in your pardoned houses while this house remains a ruin? Mungu wa malishi kwa kujega njumba ni vibaya, kujitafutia ni vibaya. Lakini anauliza, is this time when my house is in ruin? Is it time for you yourself to be building pardoned houses while my house lies in ruins? My house needs provision. My house needs to be renovated. My house has needs. Is it time? Is it time for you yourself? To live in paneled houses. Wakati nyumba yangu. Hallelujah. Kizazi chake ilikuwa ni wakati ambao wana wa Israeli wametoka kule the nation of uh, Babylon. Maeneo walikuwa mbebebwa. Wamerudi katika Israel. Jerusalem to be particular. Na waliporudi of course naturally. Watu wangefikiria hii plot yangu ilikuwa pale imemerewa na miti, wacha nijenge which was okay. Lakini kuna kitu walifanya. Wakasahau kutafuta mungu kuweka priorities zao vizuri. Wakakuwa kwa their priorities were wrong. What they were doing was right, but their priority was wrong. They should have first given priority to the house of God. Then everything else could have followed. What is it that you are doing that you should not be doing? And this is a very personal thing. Kuna katumigine mungu, ata kuerekeza wewe kufanya jambo furani. Na usikia kabisa. Ata wakatumigine tuweza kuwa na project hapa karesari kama tutai tumekotu kufanya ma, a lot of building na mabo mengi. And I thank God kuna watu wabawa atawali. Si koba zile pesa walitoa, ni kwa sababu walikuwa na pesa nyingi, ya koba hizi wakaona bandaga kutupa, wacha tupatia na kansani. Kuna mtu walikuwa na pesa ya kutupa, alikuwa nataka kutupa na siku inda kasema, Wacha nileta kanisani. Nione kwa ishara ya mkono. Takuna ishara ya mkono ni naona. Ni kumanisi ya ulikuwa na mahitaji. Lakini, mahitaji ya nyumba ya mungu, ya kakua koma ni, ni mengi, na ya kona uzito, kuliko mahitaji mengine yote. Mahitaji yako, haya na uzito sana kama mahitaji ya Mungu and that is one of the sources of blessings in your life when you value the house of God the need the cry of the spirit in a season ukielewa kilio cha roho mtakatifu hata kama kama hapa kanisani we may not push you every other day to give to give give for this project give for the other project lakini when you understand the time and the priority of God 
the moment priority yako na ya Mungu zimepitana na kuambia pesa mtakuwa mkipitana nazo kwa njia ha? unakuta kuna, kuna biashara watu wanafanya na watu wengi wamekuwa mamilione hapo the moment umeingia kwa hiyo biashara pesa inatoka kwa hiyo biashara na hiyo kuna mtu naongeresha hapa eh? hiyo biashara wakati uliingia hiyo biashara ilisha lakini wengine wote walitajirikia hapo ni kwa sababu the moment your priorities don't flow with the priorities of god mtapitana na mungu so mtumishi wa bwana hagaye na wabia wana wa israeli it is not time to seek for your self gratification for building your own house building your own kingdom where well, the kingdom of god haina mtu wa kuangalia si mungu akusaidie kuelewa nyakati Hallelujah. Kuna kati kwa bi wapendwa kuna pesa hata Mungu ataleta miko. Na mimi this has not happened once or twice. Many times. Pesa mzuri inakuja mikononi mwangu. Na niko na mahitaji. Already zikija unajua vile kuna fanyikani ya kwamba kama una pesa unafanya kabaja kidogo. Lakini pesa zikikuja nyingi, budget ina si kwa nini budget inakuwa elastic. Pia nayo inapanuka. Sasa pesa zimekuja na ulikuwa na mahitaji. Alafu sasa hiyo kuna tokea hitaji lingine la kihuduma. Not once. Nimeshetoa ushuhuda mara nyingi hapa. Hata wakati kanisa lilikuwa dogo. Wakati offering yote ikitolewa hata ijafika elfu moja ama elfu kadhaa. Lakini juu iko elfu kadhaa hata ijafika pesa ya kulipa hiyo hall tuko ndani yake na iko pesa nyingi iko 7000 au 10000 na tujalipa nyumba lakini pesa zimekuja tuna mkutano siji tunaenda wapi na nasikia kwamba hizo pesa enda nazo utoe kwa huo mkutano wa MBCI not once na mimi kutoka wakati huo msimu huo that was the very first time mimi kuona jambo kama hili kama ingekuwa ni sahi wakati wa church without walls tumeiona sana lakini siku hizo kusikia mtu wa kanisa lingine si wa kingdom seekers that was my first time mtu kumichipikia simu akaniambia pastor i never forget was meet simu ilikuwa inaingia paka ni please call me na angalia kuta ni please call me ah acha na yeye paka finally mpesa ikakuwa confirmed ile pesa ilikuja ni zaidi ya ile offering yote ilikuwa inatolewa miezi miwili mitatu kwa kanisa yangu and from that season paka siku ya leo maana Mungu alikuwa ameniambia nisiwai ishi nikiangalia kiondo cha mhodhi kiangalia na watu ninaangalia paka bahasha nikiangalia kama naona bahasha ya dhoita na dhoito mhodhi ndio ndio tataithi paka nakupigia simu hello oliokuwa nilicho sana shangaa bila nitakuanza ndio nijue kwa nini toi tataithi mimi hiyo mambo sifanyangi maana nilijua When you give God's work priority naye Mungu kwako atakuwa priority kuna pesa utatafuta kuna project ukikuwa nayo hata saka tumekuwa tufanya hii kazi nimeona watu mtu mmoja anipigia simu nitoa ushuhuda hapa akanambia nimesikia Mungu ameniambia kabebe ni mwalimu sijini wa wapi akanambia Mungu ameniambia kuna ukuta unajenga dadora na mimi nimesema nitatuma hata hatuko tume advertise tunafanya fundraiser or anything ara tuko tumetoa cards za soft copy za kutumia watu akatuma pesa kazi inaendelea haleluya Mungu akawaambia wana wa Israeli is it the time wengine watu kile kinafanya to struggle financially it's because you are not understanding the heartbeat of God kile Mungu anataka ufanye kuna pesa Mungu anazaleta mikononi mwako na hiyo pesa sio mkate hiyo ni begu What does the Bible say in the book of Corinthians? He gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Sasa ile hatari kubwa ni when you receive something to know whether this is bread or this is seed. Mimi naweza kuhurumia sana. Nikikuta unajua begu eh zile ziko certified zinakuwa zimekwa dawa mpaka zingine za red preservative zingine mibia bluish hivi nikikute kwa sink ukiosha hizo begu 
Tutaka kufanya nini? Tenda kuruga githeri. Na hiyo githeri unapaka kupika hiyo ya kilombiri. Ukipanda kwa shamba, itaza kupatia gunia between, anywhere between 5 to 10 sacks. Sasa wegini wegi duwevua tunafanya. Mpaka unaita fasting ya siku tatu ya kuosha bego. Yeah. Kuosha bego itoke dawa. Dia ukule. No wonder you are where you are financially. Abia mezako, usigoshe begu. E, pada begu. Begu ni akufanya nini? Na nikuwabia takama hii jiri ya kupada begu imetumua vibaya. It is true. You should sow seeds. But mind the farm where you are sowing. <laughs> but that's the To be a seba jambu napia you should not do is to seek self-gratification at the expense of God's desire, God's heartbeat, God's dream. Because God's dream is what should carry the day. Another example in Yahike has, you will take to 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 26. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 26. You will take it to quote. Yahazi, haere we are called wakati huu. Ni wakati wa kushugulikia madhabahu. Ni wakati wa mungu wa jurikane kwa watu wa boha wa mjui mungu. Hajui kwamba ata huu utajiri uloetwa na naman. Maana naman alikuwa na meyagemea utajiri wake sana. Alikuwa nafikia kwamba soronga alikuwa na pesa. So alijaribu ma, matibabu kila mahali kakosekana. So this was something that only the divine, only God could intervene. So wakati kihazi alipuangalia. Akaona zile pesa zimeenda. Akaona nguo zimekuja, dhahabu na nini. Aligoja wakati, alipo edo naya kamfuata, you know the story. Kaya kamdaganya, kamambia kuna watu wamekuja, na wahitaji nguo na nini namba. Shida ilikuwa ni nini? Is it? Is it time? Is it time for you to do what you are doing? Hiyo ronu unataka kuchukua. Is it time for you to take that loan? And buy that land just because everybody else is buying. Is it your time to buy land? Is it your time to own a car? Is it time to know your gas, ama meko, ama koko, ama whatever? Kama time yako ni a stove. Na nile stove inazimagwa na formula. Unatoa inje, unayeka pale kwa kolido, unayada na kikope cha maji, unachota kidogo, Arafu unafanya Na wakati mkinda unakuwa tayari Maana inezafanya hivyo Mahufta igie na kule daddy as the bottle Kama uko hiyo levo Kaa hiyo levo Because the Bible says in his time He will make everything beautiful Siko bagi hazi yake pake utajiri Lakini timing yake ya kuchukua kiri ya lichukua Was long Watu wage menganganana Kulipa madeni Amechukua ron kwa watu, kwa sako, kwa shairok. Nwagapi mechukua ron kwa shairok. Kufanya hivi kitogo, nita kupeleka bele za mungu. Maana hiyo ni, thank you. Thank you for being honest. <laughs> Sometimes kia kinafanya tukibia kwa shairok, ni kwa sababu kina utikitu nataka kufanya, it is not yet, Is it time for you to get married or to marry? Is it time? Chibwana tumana. Bwana kuja. Miasa kujitafutia na macho hivi. Unaangalia huo. Huo ni mwusi sana. Huo ni mwlefu. Huo ni mfupi. Is it time? Uluza you are afraid. Is it time? Is what you are doing within the timing of God? Kona isu asiwe. Gehazi kile kifanya. Akashikuwa na ukoma. Na finally akakufa. Akiwa a storyteller ya matedo abaye ya gehusika is because he did something that was not in the right timing may God help us in Jesus name we get you just need to go before God mambia mungu nisamehe nilitikuwa he role siko sababu uli niengoza niko sababu tukua tataka tuistoshane na wale watu tulakuwaga nao class wakikuja kwangu wakute niko na tv ya 52 inches Na kwa sababu kwa grupi yako niwe tu haukuigi na anini, 
na kiti ile ile test sasa unapambana kununua vitu za 200000 na mugu lebo yako ni zile vitu zinaitagwa nini eh hizo <laughs> sasa unachukua pesa uge invest mahali zikupatie pesa unainudua kuweka nyumba kitu inaitagwa dead stock unajua kuna vitu zinakuwa kwa nyumba hata sio asset ni kitu tu iko hapo nenda kusaidia dio lakini it could have been better if you invested it somewhere else may god deliver us from debts that we got into in the days of ignorance manasa siwe remember some years back kuna mtu mmoja alikuwa amenisukuma sana akani pressure sana kaniambia pastor we walikuwa ina gari ah pastor wewe ufai kuna tabia mguu yenyewe time ni kona sikia sio mzuri kushida kwa magari asikumana unakuta gari imejaa unajua unabua jaza pengo lifuatalo na unafatiwa ka kitu kakukalia sasa unaenda umejishikilia hivi maana kanaweza pasuka ujikute umeaguka uzuri kwa sababu utakuka ndani ya gari akaniambia pasta wakati kutukuta na mke wangu akaniambia pasta wewe cost 20 30000 za kuna toa unalipa it sounded a very good we nipo da nyumbani kajaribu kuomba mungu akaniambia that is this is not your time i thank god i had the voice of god it was not mahana tukianza kukibia my wife god hata kama my wife alikuwa anafanya kazi kwa serikali nigeza kuhubiria kila sada na hubiria message nikijua kesho nafaa kulipa 60000 nawekelea madhabahu mahubiri hapa ya vile na hiyo mahubiri sio kwa sababu mbarikiwe ni vile nitawarekeza niweze kulipa hiyo 60000 kesho monday tarehe 28 manasa siwe i thank god siku kimbia kwa wakati huo wacha kukibisha na watu wakisikia tu wamenunua shamba mnono mnono mafuta mafuta siage siage we kwa kayo kwa nyumba yenyewe ya kukomboa kwa muda huo maana wakati ukifika he will make everything ni sisi tu tutakuja tutafanya breaking uh, uh, ground breaking utajeka bila stress within one two, three, two months takao imeisha tukuja tuifungue ukue landlord ukue an owner unalala usingizi wa nyumba ambayo ni ya mtu ambaye hagojee mwisho wa mwezi kuja kugogewa mlango but it comes within the time something else you not do that people do is seeking and fighting for positions hii tunaenda kwa kitabu cha madhai 20 mstari wa 21 hadi mstari wa 24 ah this is the mother uh, of uh, James the brother uh akamuza what do you want she asked he, he asked and she said grant me that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right hand and the other on the left side of your kingdom yes wakamjib you don't know what you are asking can they drink the cup i'm going to drink yes we can they answered jesus said to them you will indeed drink my cup but to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant these places belong to those who to whom they have been prepared by my father yes so memjibu verse 24 kirekir trigger what it triggered that conversation that that desire they had the boss is when the ten heard about this they were indignant with the two brothers kujitakia kama kuna kitu sio kufanya wakati huu ni kujitakia makubwa kujitafutia position haya mambo huleta vita vingi sana anywhere and everywhere in families unakuta kuna mtu anataka kuonekana yeye ndiye na wengine ni kama sio unakuta hata kama ni kanisani kuna watu wanataka kupigania positions lakini hawajakuwa katika sonship hawajakuwa katika for worship anawaambia James na dugu yake huwa wakati ukifika mimi nitafanya hiyo mambo itimie in that time I'll make that thing to work and it will be beautiful but if you push it before it is time 
ona kile ilianza kuleta watu wakauchukia oh okay ile totili ya do si sio watu nyinyi ndio mnafaa kuka hapa sasa imagine ni mama ako hapa anasema nataka mmoja akae upande huu na mwingine pande huu so sisi wengine tutakaa wapi so sisi wengine hatuna positions Yesu akamwambia sasa hawa watu kuna hizo position mnasema kuna wale watu Mungu amewa asainia in the right time i'll give them those positions sikojea wakati wako Mungu akupatie ile position inayokufaa this who be with he by the grace of god and i thank god for that opportunity kuhusu Eliakim na nani mwingine alikuwa na nani alitoa nani Shebna Shebna wakati ifika wakati wake wa kuondolewa hatuambiwa hata Eliakim alikuwa wapi I thank God that Yakim was busy growing in the spirit, following God faithfully. When the time came, that opportunity, that position came seeking for him. And Shebna had to be driven out of his face. He had to be pulled down and he had to be replaced. Ukitaka hiyo operation DPR ifanye kazi katika maisha yako. Just remain and wait on God. Wacha kupiga na watu atidio inuke. Wacha kuharibia watu wengine majina. Wacha kupeleka porojo za uongo ndio upate position. Hata mahali pa kazi. Hata kama watu mnafanya kazi nao ni watu waovu na nini. The moment utaanza kujipigania that is the moment you start losing it. Bibi nasema it is mine to avenge. Vengeance is mine. Hallelujah. It is not not time for self pity and discouragement. It is not time for what? self pity discouragement andika kwa kitabu cha john chapter 5 the last first like five verses tunapata huyu mtu mmoja wakati wake umefika wa kufu wa mungu yesu amekuja amekuja dia amponye anamuuliza do you want the question was do you want to get healed that was the question yaani yesu anamwambia wakati umefika season yako imefika Do you want to get healed? Huyo mtu kube alikuwa ame withdraw, amekaa katika zone huwa tunaita ya self pity. Ya kujihurumia. Baada amwambia Yesu, "Yes, I want to get healed." Alianza story. Watu ambao wanako katika hali ya kujihurumia, they have long stories. Huna jua nima udomale ya gere ile ma. Nima udomale ya dano nio. Nima udomale ya dane ko. Wengine atakumekataa kutumika hapa mko na mwitu na kuna kitu Mungu anataka ufanye. Lakini kwa sababu ya kitu uli na sio sisi tuliko sio pastaza kulifanyia ni huyo kwa ni mwingine maana ulimfuata miaka tano, miaka kumi, uka waste pesa zako huko baadaye unakuja kujua ni divina. Sasa ukikuja hapa usikuje na hiyo story ya kwamba nilifanyiwa. Ulikosoa na mwanamume mmoja akakuwa miaka tatu Alafu akakuacha akawa msichana wa kazi ama akawa nani na akahama akaenda wapi sio sisi wote wanaume ni wabaya in fact wengine wetu ni malaika tuko karibu sisi na malaika <laughs> Bwana Yesu asiwe sio wote ni huyo mmoja usituweke wote kwa basket hiyo ati wanaume ni ngombe wewe hakuna mwanamume ngombe Bwana Yesu asiwe self pity and discouragement inafanyaga watu mtu anaishi mahali anashindwa kuinuka it is not time for discouragement if you live in discouragement kuna vita there is a strength you need there is a stamina you need for you to fight and be delivered from a certain situation kuna nguvu nikwambie bibi nasema and god is able to do exceedingly and abundantly about what we could ever ask or think according to the power that the worketh where not in Jesus not in the holy spirit the power that worketh within there's a power that you need within you na hiyo power iwezi kuwa generated wakati uko discouraged wakati unajihurumia wakati uko katika hali ya bitterness and anger ya kuraumu watu so it also means it is not also not time to blame others ukiangalia hiyo conversation alikuwa na raumu watu Nasema wakati nataka tu kuingia mtu mwingine anaingishwa duone one anamatia jeshi ragia eh alion alipata mtu akamsukuma 
Bwana waje nisukuma the moment umeona kitu cha kuraumu watu wa kuraumu hali ya kuraumu that is your first steps to being a failure in life may you not be a failure in life in Jesus name of course finally I can't finish that session without saying that that season the time and the season that we are in is the season not to seek for the lost donkeys hallelujah of course you because a commission gani kutafuta punda waliofanya nini walipotea wengine punda zenu zilipotea na ni acknowledge hivyo kama ukusikia message enda kwa youtube utafuta tazame kesha apostle friday apostle kemani william youtube facebook official stack hubiri maana hiyo ni mahubiri umehubiriwa lakini this is not the time to do what go looking for lost donkeys Another what you need to do is to seek to know why the what is the cause of this tragedy kwa nini hizo punda zimepotea mwana sasa sibe kwa bes kwa moja vile it happened it has happened like like two three times in my life especially in line of ministry na josa mimi naongea kwa sababu hiyo ndio line yangu wengine mko katika biashara kalias na nini God, you have different episodes and uh, uh, experiences. Me in the Hudum Pare Kingdom Seekers, Gedorai. I was leading the chair, uh, youths in Kwana Saidia. I was in the committee, Yakupanga Mabo Kalisani. I was in prison worship, Nikwana Koza Ibada, Bible study, Kesha, Ivyo Mabukamayare. All of a sudden, Nikona Nida Niki. Nikidinimia kifedha, kudinimia kifedha, kudinimia kifedha, kudinimia kifedha, kudinimia kifedha. Ikafika mahali sasa pesa na mimi tulikuwa tunapitana hivi. Nikienda huku pesa zinarudi huku, nikiingia zinatoka. Ikafika mahali ikafika kwamba Mayofi alikuwa ananunua mpaka maziwa jioni, analipa nyumba kwa month or two hivyo. Hey, when it went to miezi kadhaa I knew hapa kuna shida. Na nikajua uh, a few years before nikakumbuka hii episode naona hapa hii kitu nimeshaiona wakati mwingine. Nikajua hapa sio kapi tunahitaji kwenda kukopa maana kile kinileta Nairobi one of the things ileta Mungu alinitoa mahali nilikuwa nileta Nairobi. Ali make sure nimeingia kwa deni sikuweza kulipa. Na the only thing ningekuja nikikuja Nairobi kutafuta kibarua Dio at niweze kulipa zile pesa ni either nisichotwe ama wale wali milikarantiu wa sichotwe and all that. And that's what God did. So wakati hijabo ni itendeka mini katikuwa na first ni kenda mulimani na huku chini mehango. Kuna prayer center iku hapo. Siku ya kwanza siku ya pidi. By siku ya pidi na nusu. Mungu waka ninenea so clearly. Haka niabia Isaac. Mungu waliko me ninenea 20, 20 what? 20, 29. 2009 mwezi wa kumi. Mungu alikuwa amenenea nitakutuma Dandora utafungua kanisa huko. That's God spoke to me several things see your season ikiwa mwezi wa kumi. Sasa Mungu akaniambia ule wakati nilikwambia wakwenda Dandora umefika. In fact you are overdue. You should already be there. What? So I had my answer. So nikashida siku hiyo nikiomba the following day nikarudi nyumbani. Ikakuwa hiyo siku nilipofika Sijuti kwenda na fashion gani kwa kina juli. So we went. Tulipo rudi kwa kama tumechoka, tumecherewa, tukalala, tukuongea. Hata siku mwambia. Mi ni kenda kusakanya tu job kama mwanaume wa kawaida. Maana wezi shida hapo alafu mke wako akuje na, na maziwa jioni. Ati unashida hapo na TV. Ati jateli rega iwe. Siko jebu guyo style. Usika ya pugo jebu guyo style ati umeka hapo. Toka kwa barabara. Ata uleza kuta mtu umeshuka hapo na mizigo. Mwabia niko bebe. Mwabia ataweza kupatia ka 50. At least you read that kama nusu mkate. Haleluya. Muniangalie vizuri. Na kama umeko karibu na mume wako muangalie alafu uniangalie. Hapa ni kalisani. Ama uangalie kwenye yako. Bwana Yesu asibe. So mimi nikaenda. Lakini sasa niko na shangaa. Nikiweza kwenda kuambia mke wangu sasa TV ile tunataka tuhamie upande wa na hapa kaliyo bag south dandora na hata mimi mwenyewe na shida kulipa yeye ndiye analipa nyumba so ni kumaanisha yeye tena atachukua pesa 
ya kuhama tunahitaji pesa za deposit za maji ya stima kuhama you know all that sikabia Mungu sasa mnenea my wife kwa sababu sijui mambo itakuwa namna gani so mimi ndipo toka asubia mapema by five something ndikuwa nje so mimi nikakuja so tukaomba uh, tukafanya money ilikuwa tukaomba pamoja so yeye akasinzia kidogo alafu ajitaisha ende kazini akapata doto ambayo iliniokoa mugu ni mugu anayejibu maombi <laughs> the bible says unto god who answered the prayers shall all flesh come so akapata doto so clear hata haiku itahitaji msafasiri hatuko tuenda kutafuta aposto au mapasta atutabidi ambu atujaribu kutufasiri ile doto maana kwa ile doto aliota mahali tunaishi tumelipa anaona amelipa nyumba lakini mwenye nyumba amekucha na fujo akamwambia mimi sitaki kuona hapa mtoke kwa nyumba yangu mwende kabisa mwende anajaribu kuombea si tumelipa nyumba na amwambia jikwenda kumuona huko mume mudhi ndi kama na nyumba ndi sio mume kawaika leo huo we sasa kwa hiyo doto nikakuja akaanza kunielezea he pastor mimi nimeota doto kimeenda hivi nikamjibu kwa doto of course that is angelic ministration nikamjibu nikamwambia ni vizuri hata maana Mungu anataka twende Dadora maana Mungu anataka tuanze ministry ile Mungu ameshaituambia ame doto ikaisha akaenda kazini tukakutana jioni so the first thing ananiambia ile doto so mimi nipo kuja hapa nikaona nyambura alikuwa anafanya kazi nilikuwa na ujana kutoka zamani nikamwambia nataka tutafute nyumba hapa unisaidie kutafuta nyumba by faith sasa mimi nimechukua hatua by because faith is not sitting down faith is action hata kama siko na pesa nikaanza kutafuta nyumba nikaona bidi tatu nikasema acha tuone hizo tatu kisha kesho tutaendelea so alipokuja akuniambia nikamwambia exactly hivyo ndio Mungu aliniambia hata leo nimetoka kutangalia nyumba tumeona kama nyumba bidi kesho tuende tukaona kama tutapata that's how we located ile wakati tulipo relocate maana iko mwezi wa saba mwisho mwisho mwezi wa nane Mungu alifungulia mlango wa biashara ambayo kutoka siku hiyo mpaka siku ya leo mimi maisha ya financial struggles zilishidia hapo it's not time to seek for lost donkeys haleluya ukiona punda zimepotea tafuta kujua kwa nini zimepotea wacha kwenda kutafuta pesa zilienda wapi wengine kile kinafanya Mungu akusukume kwa kona ni kwa sababu kuna kitu wanakuambia utaki kusikia. So ni yale nikapata my brother naye <laughs> akawa amekomba um, kiwaja kule kikomba kafanya fanya kazi. Alafu something happened around that season akapata kazi zingine better. So akawacha kiwanja amelipa miezi kadhaa. Store amelipa. Mimi usiku nipo ba Mungu ndio. My brother akanipigia simu akaniambia umekuwa wapi? Kwa sababu sasa nimekuwa chini sana. Hivi na hivi akaniambia sasa si unajua ile kiwaja mali kuna nipata eh ata hakuja aliniambia enda hapo kwa jirani wangu anaitwa Frani uh, mwambie hata matandiko wale wanajua hiyo kiwaja huwa inatandikwa nini kuna guni yangu huko kuna matandiko kuna hangers he nikaenda nikaona nikaenda huyo neighbor yake kadaiba kiwaja ndio hii tumekuwa tukitumia kidogo lakini kikuja tutakuachia kiwaja si nimepata nikaenda bele za Mungu nikauza Mungu sasa Yekoba naenda kufungua mali gani? Nikapatiwa jina ya mzigo. Jabu strange ni ya kwamba wakati ule mzigo ni mabwa ile nikafungue kule Yekoba ilikuwa kadi zile zinaitaka kwa dead stock. Ile mzigo ikikuja kwa container yako. Hiyo ni kama umechomeka. So ndipo enda kuuliza kwa duka ya kwanza ndio ingia hivi. Nikauza nataka mzigo fulani. Hata wao waliangaliana wakashindwa wamekuja unajua watu wanasemaga hiyo ni msemo ya Nairobi wanasemaka pale machakos kuna shikaga watu wagapi wajiga kila siku mwesheski wa msemo wa Nairobi <laughs> wanachukaga wagapi <laughs> eh aikosaki kama 300 maybe walikuwa wanasema ne hashuka kelimoke ge Nairobi figeto ina Nairobi <laughs> maana ile muziki unaitisha sasa maana ni peleko na mtu mwingine anajulikana pia walikuwa anamjua kidogo sabi ah unaweza kwa okay akadebei muziki yote ni yako ilikuwa bills steam uh, over the 20 kwa deraju nikafanya value yake they were worth 300000 sasa kuchagaza ni kwamba aliniambia 
hata usijilipe pesa yote wewe unachukua mzigo kabla utaweza kuchukua fungua bili kila siku unaenda unafungua unalipa pesa baadaye nimepata capital hakuna capital nimepata stock nimepata kiwanja bure siku ya kwanza kwanza kufungua hizo vitu ndio mungu alifungua watu ikaacha kuwa dead stock ikakuwa live stock <laughs> Within one week simu yangu ilikuwa nilikuwa na save watu wa Ikoba na Capital GG Betty G Mwaji G Karoli G hivyo So hiyo siku ya kwanza nilifunga watu wa Ikoba haya unavunga guys hey nipatie namba ya simu kesho tunakuja nakuta watu wanampigia simu nataka mzigo na hesabu leo nitafungua mzigo kama nne na mfungua mzigo kabla nimalize nikihesabu pesa ile iko nazo mzigo imerudisha pesa yake yote ikiwa hapo stock imejaa kwa magonia hapo nikakuja hapa wakati wa mtindo wa market ilikuwa inaoperate siji kama bado iko siku hizi nikapata kiwanja ile stock yote nikapata kumwaga hapo kila siku na upigia mwenye umeuza pesa ngapi 20000 20000 nimeuzwa ni faida tupu hakuna kitu inadai isipokuwa kulipa huyo mtu na kulipa store na tu mambo mengine hapo so kutoka hapo mke wangu hakuwahi lipa nyumba tena hakuwahi nunua maziwa a anything kutoka siku hiyo that was the end of it kwa hivyo wale ambao punda zenzu zimepotea wachari na nini e, mtafuta ni kwa nini punda zimepotea bwana Yesu asifiwe aliza your, your friend and have yet karibu nawe what is the time what is the time it is time to seek god until he is found it is time to seek god until he comes through for us it is time to pray for our nation mpaka wakati kile ambapo cha Mungu anakutudia kwenye taifa letu kije kutimia it is time to seek god ili kwamba mababa tumeona akituzunguka wengine wetu familia zetu zimepitia mambo mazito sana for over the years it is time god has lifted you ndio Mungu amekuokoa aku na connect na mr mzuri kama hii platform mzuri kama hii hata mzuri kama hii mahali ambapo unajua unajua vita pia huwezi pigana tu ukiwa mahali popote kuna vita ukipigana ukiwa hapa utashida kwa wepesi sana I thank God kwa watu wengi ambao wamekuja hapa ama wameconnect na sisi au hata kwa platform ya MBCI and things they have struggled with for years wameanza kuweza kupigana vita na kushinda this is the time to fight for your family Nehemiah akasema msiogope it is time to fight for your brothers for your sisters for your husbands for your wives for your families in Jesus name somebody said it's time to pray it is time to pray it is time to frustrate the token of the wicked It is time to do what? To frustrate the token of the wicked. Could you huwa wakati? Waku kunyamazisha shetani. Mimi nasema the last scripture nikimalizia. Nimesema hivi in the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 3. Fungo hiyo should be the last verse I'll read. Then we pray fervently. And also tunapojia kwenye maombi haya 40 days next week. Kuanzia Wednesday utaomba kwa jia bosi wa kawaida tusome kwa pamoja Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10 na goje ufike mahali pale Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 itagoja tu ufike maana it's one of the most powerful scriptures itakusaidia katika maisha yako in this time and season na Mungu anataka tuombe asemaje his intent tusome kwa pamoja His intent was that now when His intent was that, was that when now what should happen through the church the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms verse 11 according to his eternal purposes which he accomplished in Christ Jesus through the tena mara moja His intent was that now, comma, through the church, comma, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. According according to what? To his eternal purposes which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the time to do what? To showcase the power of God to those principalities and powers 
Hayo maroya yamesema kwamba baada ya miaka tano tunapigana kama taifa tunainukiana kabila hili na lile lingine watu wana hema eneo moja wana hema eneo nyingine this is the time to declare haya mambo yatafanyika tena it is time to seek god until he is found it is time to fight for our destinies to fight for our children to fight for our families it is time kuacha mambo mengine yote na kuweka priority ya Mungu bere kumwambia Mungu hili jambo tunaichukua kwa uzito hili ndio jambo tunaisukuma nataka tusimame na miguu yetu nataka ujiombe kwa dakika chache i want us to contend at the gates i want us to contend for this time and for this season ambao kuna kitu Mungu anataka kufanya katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwambie Bwana nisaidie wengine neno lipo kwa linakuja kuna vile Roho Mtakatifu amekuonyesha a move you made in your life a move you made in your life ambayo ilifanya milango yako ikafungika kuna kitu Mungu alikuwa anataka kufanyia lakini there's the financial mistake you made you made and you took a step that you should not have taken you made a move you should not have made mwambie Mungu nisamehe kule kuna hatua nilichukua kule kuna mambo nilifanya kule kuna maneno niliongea i spoke words that were not in time the bible says how how beautiful are words spoken in time wakati neno likikuja na uliongea wakati unaofaa oh kuna mambo makubwa yatafanyika tell the lord this is the time to seek you until you are found seek you oh sio mpaka wakati nitachoka nitakutafuta mpaka katika nitakuona nikakuguze nikatembee nawe in the name of Jesus to jiombe katika jina la Yesu Kristo huyo Mungu ambaye alimsaidia wakati Sauli kupunda zake zilikuwa zimepotea kumbe sio puda zilikuwa zimepotea it was time for his lifting it was time for a change of job description it was time for a change of level it was a time time for overturning of his life it was a time for his promotion wengine kuna mambo yametendeka kwenye maisha yetu kumbe ni wakati Mungu anataka kufanya jambo jipya lakini umejawa na kutoamini umejawa na discouragement unaraumu watu unaraumu hali unaraumu uchumi unaraumu serikali unaraumu corona unaraumu mke wako unaraumu mume wako unaraumu watoto unaraumu mke aliyokuacha unaraumu huyo aliyekupoza kisha baada ya kuacha oh this is not a time to blame this is not the time to blame anyone this is not to call blame this is not the time to blame anybody it is time to seek the lord until he is found it is time to seek the lord until he is found rema shara baganda tutakutafuta mungu kwenye taifa letu mpaka upatikane we will seek you until the peace of this nation is established until the purposes of god for this nation is established we will seek the lord rema baba shara baganda Rekaba shata baganda riba bozaya Rekaba shata baganda jiombe mpendwa najua kuna neno limekunenea katikati ya, ya, ya hiyo salmon najua kuna neno Mungu amekunenea nalo oh in the name of Jesus it is my prayer my cry my desire yakoba jioni ya leo maisha yako hatabaki mahali yamekua ni ya must be a shift in your life in the name of Jesus the tribe of Ishakal The tribe of Ishakar they made great strides in their lives they had impact and influence they were dominating their season because they understood the times and what exactly ought to have been done mwambie bwana nisaidie kufahamu kuelewa kile unataka kufanya that i may not miss out on you in the name of jesus oh hakuna kitu cha kusikitisha kama wakati mungu amefika wakati wako kutembelea lakini uko mali pale unajihurumia you are discouraged because something happened in your life pick up your mat and go pick up your mat and move forward pick up your mat strengthen your weak knees strengthen your weak hands let the weak say i'm strong let us rise let us not sit there kujiraumu tusikae pale kwa sababu hali imekaa hivyo miaka mingi wewe Mungu amekuinua katika kizazi chako ukarete mabadiliko dio familia yenu inaweza kuwa kwamba hakuna mtu ameshainuka kiwango fulani lakini Mungu anasema siku ya leo nataka kukutumia wewe kama chanzo kama chanzo cha mabadiliko kama chanzo you be an agent of change you be an agent of change the bible says in this time he makes everything beautiful wengine tumechoka kugoja wakati wa Mungu hujafika 
Mungu anasema bado nakuja bado nini abudi nilikomja hutaibika lakini nimefika mahali pa kuzimia naombea nafsi yote ambayo inazimia naombea nafsi yote ambayo inazimia naombea nafsi yote ambayo inazimia ngre mashata baganda ribabu zaya ngre kaba shata baganda i pray for the spirit of the children of ishaka men who understood the times and who knew what is right should do i ask for the spirit of the children of ishaka the spirit of wisdom of knowledge understanding of the times and the seasons oh wengine ile season napitia ni kwa muda tu oh mungu anataka kufanya jambo jipya jiombe mpendwa jiombe mwambie mungu nipe neema nipe neema usimu huu nipe neema ya kufunga nipe neema ya kuomba nipe neema ya kusimama nipe neema ya kustahimili nipe neema ya kukugoja Mano wakati mwingine kugoja Mungu it is not a piece of cake oh my god kugoja Mungu when nothing seems to be happening when you are stuck in a situation lakini Mungu anasema nitakuja tu oh Mungu si dio alitembelea Abraham Abraham alikaa miaka mingi akigoja hadi ya Mungu kutimia Mungu anamwambia Mungu nigoje Abraham nigoje mimi ndio sehemu yako mimi ndio urithi wako oh anamwambia Abraham wakati mwingine Oh am your portion am your portion am your portion lakini bado hajafika wakati wake anamwambia Abraham oh Abraham walk me both before me and be blameless na bado hajakuja wengine tuko katika ile hali let me tell you it's time to seek the lord not until we get tired we call unto god until he comes until we rain falls hatutachoka paka mvua inyeshe hatutachoka oh kama mtumishi wa Mungu Elisha angechoka angepoteza visitation yake it is not time to self seek it is not time to get tired it is not time oh to pursue personal gains it is not time to seek propositions it is not time to allow discouragement it is not time to allow men to push you down it is time to arise it is time to seek god are mashata baganda in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus katika wakati wako bwana utafanya mambo yote yatibie ngreka bashata raba raba buzikere baganda ngreka bashata ma it is not time to seek for the lost donkeys sio wakati wa kutafuta zile punda zilipotea ni wakati wa kutafuta mungu mpaka aonekane Ndi mashata rabaganda rekaba zakaba ganda rekaba shataba makata rababu ziki oh katika madhabahu haya nako wote wanaotutazama wanaotusikiza this is my prayer for us that god almighty by his word he will visit us god almighty by his word he will help you to understand that where you are in the calendar of god Ndika bashataba ngrika mazaka baganda ndika rababu shanda rababu zaya nasikia kuna watu Mungu anagetaka kuonyesha mambo makubwa go kuna watu ambao Mungu anagetaka kuonyesha nguvu zake na neema yake ngrima shataba ganda makata rababu zika baganda ndima sharaba ganda rika raba shataba ganda Rema shata baganda reka bashata babuzaya reka bashikara baganda ikara bazika baganda makata rabu shikiri baganda yes lord will you come through for us reka yana rabu sika baganda we look up to you lord we look up to you jehovah god we look up to you and your mighty power we look up to you in your mighty power reka bazika maganda reka yanda rababu zika oh yes you are god you do mighty things lord you do glorious things oh god you are faithful in all your ways in your time you make everything beautiful tunakata kudhofishwa na hali tunakata kudhofishwa na hali tunafakata kutabishwa tunakataa kuvunjwa mioyo yetu na mikono yetu 
Oh, tunakata kudofishwa. Rima shata vaganda. Rika vashata rima ganda. Gio buwana mungu wetu. Wewe die mungu. Unayetenda maumaku ya majabu. There is nothing that you cannot do. There is nothing that you cannot do. Rika vashata maganda. There is nothing that you cannot do. Rika vashata maganda. Makatara vazika maganda. Rika vashata maganda. We'll seek you until you are found. We will seek you until the rain comes. We will seek you until things change. We will seek you until our nation is healed. We will seek you until our families are healed. Oh my God. Do not cut our cut off his way. Do not cut our cut off his way. Rekaba shataba. Ombia moyo wako. Ombia moyo wako. Ombia moyo wako. Guvu za kupika na vita. Guvu za kusimama. Guvu za kumgoja. Oh, that God will give you ears that would hear him. And eyes that would see. A discerning heart to discern the moves. The heartbeat of God. To understand the move of God. To hear his heartbeat. To hear the cry in the spirit. In the season of our visitation. In the name of Jesus. Rekaba shata vaganda. Rekaba shata vaganda. Oh my God. Rekaba shata vaganda. Rekaba shata vaganda. Rekaba shata vaganda. Dio bwana mungu wetu. Rekaba shata vaganda. Rekaba shata vaganda. Nina kiu na we. Sina mwingide Wakunitosheleza Nina njana we Sina mwingide Wakunishibisha Nina kiu na we Sina mwingide Wakudishi bisha Nina njana we Sina mwingide Wakuditosheleza Dicha ze Dicha ze Dicha ze Gubu zako Dicha ze Mabie buwana Dicha ze Mabie Dicha ze Yeah. 
Because we are wired for this generation and we have an obligation in our generation to fulfill God's purpose, God's will, God's desire. Give me ears that hear your heartbeat. Give me ears to hear the cry of the Spirit. Give me a heart to discern your move, your direction. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your word this day. We thank you for your word this day. We thank you for your word this day. I know you're speaking to someone. I know you are healing. I know you are delivering, oh God. Dio bwana mungu wetu. Dio bwana mungu wetu. Dio bwana mungu wetu. Ni watu mikono yako bere zake bwana tunapenda kumalizia. Takukuombea neema. The same grace that has helped us. Hata kusikia sauti ya Mungu. Kwa kile Mungu anataka tufanye with this one great advantage. And one thing we thank God for, ndi vile mungu metusaidia over in the years, kujua wakati mungu ataka to move. Kata vile mungu alituambia tuja hapa kwenye hii location, it was in the timing of God. We did rush and we were not late. We came just in time. May the same grace be upon you in the name of Jesus. Iyo neema abayi ni metuzidia tukate seke miaka mingi. Oh, maybe to get kwa hile roon, tuwaza kukimbishwa all over. Maybe to get kosa kusikia sauti ya kuja dandora wakati ule. Na watu wengi wageteseka. I remember one time mungu walitunenea kwa mba kuna watu wengi wanateseka. Kwa sababu ya kwa I could understand that what God was saying. Ya kwa mba kuna watu wengi wanateseka wanakugoja wewe. I did know we do meet with you. We did have an appointment with you. Ukitoka kwenye mashambani ukuja Nairobi. Hatu kwa tukukutane anywhere. Lakini mungu walikuwa na jua. I'll bring you under this grace. Na kupitia kwa umtumishi maisha kwa tabadirika. Oh, how much more about your life? Maana mungu huwa na achidi ya neema kwa mtu ishukia watu wengine. Hujui ni watu wangapi wanateseka siku ya leo. Because you are not in your light position. Na mungu wana kutgojia utayarike. Akutengeneze. Akutume kwa watu wabawa na itaji ile neema abayo. Mungu wana mekeza dani yako. Ino watu mikono ni kuombe katika jina la Isu Kristo. Baba na ombea kila moja wetu. Anaye tutazama, anaye tusikiza. Walio katika mdhaba huwa ya siku ya leo. That they may the same grace about it to saidia. Ime to saidia kufika ubali huu. Ya komba yu neema ito saidia kusikia sauti yako. Every time at about to ombea tutoke hapa. Tuede na kuru kuna hitaji. And in the right time, you positioned us in Nakuru, on NBC TV, at Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain. And Lord, we have seen that this ministry has not stopped growing. Nakure kumekua na tofauti. Oh God, I pray, may the same grace work. May it flow from the, our lives and from this altar to many whose donkeys have gotten lost and they are busy every day pursuing for the donkeys. May those, may, may those oh God, wordless efforts, zikafike muisho. Hiyo bidi wamekua kifanya, wakisukuma the own direction, wakiwekeza mali pasipo, si mabaya ikafike muisho. Megini waligia kwa madeni, in the days of ignorance, I pray that just that, oh Lord, you help me to pay that debt supernaturally. May you provide for them in the name of Jesus. We gine kuna hatua tulichukua, kuna mali tujiingiza, na tubejipata kwa shida kubwa. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord deliver you. 
May the Lord deliver you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, she find a worthless labor. Oh, she put it with worthless efforts. A buzz was in a fight you take. Because it is time and a season that has changed. And that may God give you ears to hear the word of God, the direction of the spirit, the cry of the spirit. May you be able to pick the heartbeat of God for your life. That you may walk with him, that you may not struggle. It is not the will of God that you may struggle. Mungu wa kuna pago mzuri na wewe. Si mungu wa tuwa kakusaidia kushikamana na yeye. Oh, kuna mwaba mbo na fikiria, tumungangana utangangana. Mekina fikia koma ni mashaba utauza. Ati jiweze kufanya kitu furani. Mekina fikia yobiyashari unafanya ni utakusaidia kujenga. Lakini mungu wa kuna pago tofauti mpendwa. Si ukashikamana na uo mpango. God can do anything. You can be given a house that you never build. And you'll be given even the title D. Oh, you can drive a car you never bought. God can do anything. Oh, siri metu mungu na mawazo yako. Sio masomo yako ya naitajika. Ni mungu wa kusaidia kusukume to your lightful position. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mwabie mungu ni peroho ya kame ya wana wa ishakari. Ya kujua nyakati. Ya kujua majira. Na kujua kile na faa kufanya. Tuko mwaka 2022. What do I need to do? What are the things I need to collect? Ni mabogani unafaa kurekebisha. Begine hile jiu mepitia. Umepitia hiyo jiu for the last five years. And it has been a path of failure, of loss. Lakini mungu anataka kuchukua kusaidia. Uchukua mwerekio mingine. Oh, may you take a path to recovery. May the spirit of God lead you to a path of recovery. And restoration. No matter the year of losses. No matter the year of, 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 being, of, of being disoriented and confused. In the name of Jesus. Rema shata abagana Baba tunakushukuru Mana neno lako likia chiriwa Hali uru dibure Najua kuna watu wanafunguliwa Najua kuna watu wanafunguliwa Najua kuna watu wanafuguka macho Najua kuna watu mio yao Oh, you are coming out of this altar And from this as you listen to this uh, This uh, this sermon today Umepata mwere keo Kire exactly unafaa kufanya Na mambo unafaa kuwacha kufanya In the name of Jesus we thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Baba na kushuku kwa pendo hawa kwa kila moja wetu. Na jua kwa bahilo neno. Likona wezo kufanya mambo mengi. Ata zaidi ya kile ni miongea. You are able to do exceeding and apparently above what even I've even shared today. Because it is your spirit that speaks to the hearts of men. I thank you for the many that you are delivering today. In Jesus' name. Amen. You have not given your life to Jesus. The Bible says the time. Ya wakovu ni sasa. Sio kesho. Sio yu siku nasemanga kwamba mungu wakitaka. The time of salvation is now, today. And now is the moment. Mungu kama huyo. You are not born again. You are a backslider. You would want to recommit your life to Jesus. You are not a backslider. kama huyo baby kuna wana wameinua mikono kwa online sema nyuma yangu bwana yesu siku ya leo ni imefanya uamuzi wako kufuata nisamehe dhabi na uovu wangu ukaandike jina langu kwenye kitabu cha uzima kuanzia siku ya leo nitakufuata yesu nitakuishia nitafuata mapezi na makusudio yako ukanisaidie kulikaba na kutembea katika jia yako in Jesus name Kama uko bado umesikiza umeokoka Mungu akusaidie connect na kanisa mzuri ali utaenda kubatizwa ufundishwe neno la Mungu na uweze kutembea na Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Wale about concert haleluya Kuna kitu umeshika siku ya leo Naamini one year from now kuna mambo ambayo kuna watu ambao kuanzia sasa the next few hours kuna maisha yako kuna vile tatakuwa mwelekeo tofauti in the name of Jesus haleluya Tuweza kaa chini Look what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. As we do that, let's prepare our offerings. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. You can use your this song and say, See what the Lord has done. 
Very soon I'm going to sing this song. She was the Lord has done. Because what we waited for. What we waited for has come to pass. She was the Lord has done. Amen. God is going to do something. It will be beautiful in your eyes. It will be a testimony to the ears of many. An encouragement to many in Jesus' name. You get that to be Sadakayako, Zaka Zako, Fukula Kumi, Na Namin Koba, Mungabe, me, the Mamini from Etupatina Fasi, Amakpati Rekazi, no matter how much you get the opportunity. If you are faithful with the little, God will bless you and entrust you with much. I want to pray with you for that, for that offering in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for this offering every tither. Oh God, as they do this, oh God, as they fulfill your word. Yakoba wagine what in a tithe wana toa. They feel Yakoba it is not even sufficient. The money they have, the remainder of the money is not sufficient. I pray because they have not eaten the seed that they have sown in this fertile ground. May you remember them. May you fight their battles. May you show yourself mighty. Father, I bless every tither, every giver. Those giving online through a payment number. Those who give through our, 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 our bank account or even MPSA, Lord, we bless them. And I pray that the same grace that we have seen of swift growth, of supernatural establishment, made for to each one of us and our families. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You shall give cheerfully. In Jesus' name, you give cheerfully. You will be led by our ushers as our, our teams, praise and worship team. He sends a song to us and to the Lord in Jesus' name. Welcome. Lord, if I find favor. 